Hey, you bot think your kid hoverboard? Hoverboard, you know, the thing that they stand on something and the world is coming to them. Just like stand, I don't know what, what, how to call them. Holche regel, on de derech, nobody knows. It's dangerous. I saw a mom that bought to her kid a hoverboard and he tied the hoverboard in the stock, fell from the hoverboard and she bought him a hoverboard. And I have a suggestion for all the parents. Instead of hoverboard, you can give your kid to stand on the iRobot at home. <laughs> Israeli stand-up in English. Funny Monday. Steve, you have a boyfriend? Yes. Where is he? I have husband, yes. Oh, you married? Okay. What's your name? You know you can adopt him. Sh I think gay people should have the right to, to, uh, to adopt because... Right? Yeah, because it's the kids that don't have that much options. <laughs> Let the gay practice in him. In a good way, I'm just saying. They don't, uh, we're scared they're gonna make fun of them in the kindergarten. But they're gonna have a kindergarten. <laughs> and I think the gay dads, Steve, it's the best fathers in the world. Yeah. You know, I, I, I had a lot of breakups also when I was uh, 16. And I came to my father and said, Dad, you know, the Michal broke up with me. And you, uh, like a straight father, he doesn't, you know, a gay, gay father's like, come on, put your hands on my shoulder. I'm gonna do, do you know, gonna have fun. <laughs> You wanna have fun? It's like, yeah, no, yeah. I feel better. Wait for the second dad. Da, 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 da. You know? So when I'm hungry, I wanna order now. It's like, when I go to a restaurant, I never need to eat what I want. I eat what I can translate in under 15 seconds. Why do I have to take a reading test to get food? It's like, imagine you're about to have sex with a beautiful woman, and right before she takes her clothes off, she hands you a copy of Macbeth. Read this first. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Muska, Musica, Mosca. You know what? Uh, off. Just off it up for me. Off. What kind of off? Uh, cooked off. I don't just put off on the plate. Give me off. Fuck off. And kids, very, very spoiled, you know? Parents take kids to hotel. When I was young, my parents took me to Chov Dugit Bakineret. You know what's Chov Dugit Bakineret? You know? You don't know? Okay. Where do you come from? France. Ah, uh, Tel Aviv! I love French people. Why all the family smoke? What's going on? That is my cigarette to the kid. To the baby. You love the cigarette, so I saw a French person, you know, he smoked cigarette till the end. He smoked the cigarette and he put the filter inside the glass and he drink it with, you know? <laughs> it's a joke. Well, you look at that. C'est pas moi, je Shabbat Shalom. Et tu fais peur, tu fais peur, tu fais peur. Shabbat Shalom. What's going on with all these French people? What's going on? What? You just conquered Israel. What's going on? You just conquered us. You, everything, every store, they walk in stores and they don't understand Hebrew, no English, nothing. And you want to say And I want to say Chulza. Chulza, passi. Chulza, shel kisim. Passi. Ne daber im nisim, ne daber. No communication. You know, you start to explain it. Passi, kisim. I almost sell her my shirt. I know, it's crazy. And they come to my shows and they steal the first row in Hebrew and they don't understand Hebrew, they'll say, explain to each other while I'm talking, you know? So they explain the joke. Quand je sais la jarneur, t'es la nuit. Quand je sais la t'es la nuit, jarneur. Qu'est-ce qui c'est la jarneur? Jarneur, qu'est-ce qui c'est la jarneur? Jarneur, qu'est-ce qui c'est la jarneur? Jarneur. You know? For the whole show, qu'est-ce qui c'est la jarneur? Jarneur, la qui c'est? Qui c'est la jarneur? And it's... Turns me on, you know, it makes it. <laughs> Not for sex, for Jachnun, because it sounds good. Jachnun, it sounds good, you know, it sounds like Jachnun with two Michelin stars, you know? <laughs> who are the terrorists targeting, okay? People who are either Jewish or soldiers or look like Jews, okay? Or don't speak Arabic, that's what they want, okay? So if you want to protect yourself, you have to be with an Arab all the time. So I have an, I have an idea for an app, it's called Get Ahmed. <laughs> 
okay? You want to go out to the mall, to the promenade, you know, it's a very, very busy day, you're scared, okay? You open the app, you, invite, you, you order an Arab. An Arab comes five minutes afterwards, okay? And you go together for an hour, okay? You rent him out and it's fun, okay? And then afterward, you put him back in the station like a telephone. And uh, you see, he has work, we have protection, we have, everything is, everyone is happy. We will have peace. This is a great plan, I think, okay? I know it's a little bit racist, but it's a bridge for peace. Get Ahmed, available in the App Store. <laughs> you, you know how desperate we are to have peace? That we let Trump to take care of all the process. <laughs> That's how desperate we are. We let that psychopath, he loves us in a crazy way. I don't like the way that Trump loves us. <laughs> it feels weird, yeah, right? He loves us too much and we didn't do anything for his like, I love Israel. <laughs> what? I love the states of Israel. <gasps> It's like a crazy ex kind of love. <laughs> love and he wants something back. Wanna grab Israel by the pussy or something. I don't know what he wants. Which is Be'er Sheva. <laughs> if you wonder where, where Israel's pissing from. So, um... On a small screen, we got all the where you come from, guys? France! Tel Aviv, Shabar! They conquered us too, what's going on? Shabar Shalom! How did you hear about us? <laughs> because of that, Tel Aviv! <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, sad and sad. How do you say suddenly in French? Le feta. Sudema! That's gonna be a new catchphrase. Sudema! 